everyone uh i'm back with another video now this time we're gonna be going over the brand new just released 2024 roadmap for marvel snap and i i, I gotta say i love this little wallpaper that they got going on uh saying goodbye 2023 old 2024 these are my fresh reactions i have not seen any of these yet um i just got around to seeing it uh and we're gonna try to get this going all right so um, they go on to say it's hard to believe that we launched Marvel Snap over a year ago globally, late 2022. Um, so much just happened since then. Favorite moments include Snap's first game, um, first new game mode would be in Conquest, official launching on Steam, blah, 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 blah. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. That's fine. Well, that's getting the good stuff. Thank you so much, Second Dinner. You're awesome. Uh, I'm going to actually probably use this in some way, shape, or form. This is dope. I like it. I like all the little, little things. Um, so... Here is the roadmap we have coming soon, in development, and in concept. So the first things off in coming soon are character mastery, albums improvements, in-game events, selectable card effects, selectable borders, new infinity splits, and collectible reactions. All right. Uh, in development, clans, collectible borders, booster vats, Okay, more event types, in-game graveyard. Oh, that's amazing. Oh my god, yes please. And then in-concept, new game modes, new game boards, clan competitions, ultimate variant evolution, new card mechanics. Cool, yeah. So let's dive into what they all mean. So what are album improvements, starting with the coming soon section? Uh, thank you everyone to provide feedback on our new album feature in December. We're actively making improvements that include more albums, easier to complete albums, albums with various sizes, and more ways to collect emotes. Imagine a Dan Hip parent album that combines all of the Dan Hip albums and rewards you for progress on each of them, each of the many Dan Hip albums. Keep the feedback coming and stay tuned, blah, blah, blah. So feedback works. Cool. Within reason, you know. Don't send death threats. Just say, hey, we don't like this thing. And that's pretty much it. Uh, what are selectable card effects and borders? One of the most requested features in the game since beta has been the ability to pick your border and set it up with the best infinity split combo that you have unlocked on your favorite variant. Guess what? It's coming soon. Oh, that's... Man. Gone are the days where you have to leave a card at a specific border or regret upgrading a card past the border you liked more. Now with custom cards, you will be able to keep upgrading a variant as much as you want to chase even cooler combos while setting your custom card to current favorite border and affinity split combo. We're also preparing for a second phase of custom card you may see in development called the Collectible Borders. Collectible Borders are will be a brand new cosmetic type, new never before seen card borders that you can acquire and apply to all characters, blah, 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 blah. So kind of like how I've been wanting different infinity uh, border effects, not for cards, but for like um, the avatar thing. Because right now there's no way to differentiate between like, like Lambie, for example. He has a page of all of the infinity uh, borders that he's gotten through the infinity conquest. But there's no way to discern which came from when. There's no season marker. There's no special way to view it. They're all just in Affinity Board. They look good, but I want more than that. I want, like, Ultra Borders, Gold Borders, etc. I want a special border for each season. So you can be like, the same way you can identify if someone hit Infinite in the season that had X-23, for example, and Dakin and all that good stuff. I want the same thing that you can identify those same things for infinity conquest sorry not all there mentally at the moment uh, i have uh, just awoken so what are in-game events on snap we aim to keep the game fresh every week so in 2024 we're introducing in-game events over the year we'll be gradually add new and varying types of events uh, the first one looks like it'll be something we're tentatively calling leagues uh, when a league event is active, you'll be matched up against a small number of other players near your skill and collection level. During the event, you will compete to see who can earn the most cubes to earn awesome rewards. Uh, we hope this is the first many events. Um, yeah, the, the way they explain it is very vague. I don't really have much of an opinion on this. Look, more in-game events are cool. More things to do in the game are cool. Um it's just a step forward in the right direction. Uh, we'll probably get more information on this as we approach it. Next is character mastery. This is a big one. 
Uh, has your love of friendly sharks caused you to collect every Jeff variant? And how perfect does that ink split with black crackle flare look on your chibi Jeff? Well, now it's time to show off your mastery of playing and collecting each character in Marvel Snap. After character uh, mastery launches, every cosmetic you collect for a character will contribute towards unlocking brand new splits and exclusive rewards. If you thought gold, ink, and crackle were fun, we have even more fun on the way. Earned your fourth Iron Man variant? Gain an Iron Man mastery. Earned your third Gamora avatar? Gain a Gamora mastery. Split Venom for the 157th time? Gain a mastery. As your mastery... F- uh, as your mastery for a character goes up, you unlock new and cooler splits and eventually a brand new cosmetic type. Reactions. Oh, okay. So, yeah, these are the reactions. We, we've been waiting to see when these would come out. These were leaked. Uh, I want to say leaked. They were at the, what, Comic-Con, right? One of the events, or it was a panel, and they had all the new emotes, and these were in there as well. Um, so, yeah, that's cool. Uh, exclusive available is a master reward for each character. Reactions are the fun emoji you can show off in card uh, locations. What if your reaction was Goose or Wolverine? Your opponent will immediately know your dedication and love for the game. Yeah, that, that's cool. Um, and for design, every few levels of character mastery you gain unlocks a mastery milestone. Each character has a unique mastery milestone challenges. Uh, Imagination Deadpool Mastery 10 and unlocking a challenge of Deadpool will be over 100 power in a match. That's cool. I like that. I like specific challenges to things. Um, this gives me like the vibes of like Call of Duty and like uh, like Overwatch, I guess, and like like shooters and stuff like that, where you have the game within the game, right? You have the overarching level up your your character, you know, progress your guns or whatever, and just kind of like get better as the game goes on. You want to win, right? But within that, you also want to try to unlock camos. Uh, that's the big thing for Call of Duty is camo grind. I, for one, am actually going through camo grind at the moment for Modern Warfare 3. It's what I do when I have some free time and uh, just kind of try to get cool stuff in like the new zombies mode and stuff like that. This feels like the same thing. It gives you something to do even when there's like a dead meta, you know? Like when we're in those lulls of periods, like even right now, with this leak that happened for the, uh, you know, the new balance update for next week, some people might view this op- as an opportunity of a of a lull of a, I'm not going to play. I'm going to wait for that new update. Well, this gives you something to strive for during that. Also, if you're a post infinite player and you don't really care too much about hitting the you know the smaller number and like higher in the leaderboard for that or infinity conquest for that matter, this is also another thing you can strive to do when you're done with your own personal milestones or whatever you find to be fun with the game. So I like this quite a bit. Hopefully they add more stuff beyond just reactions, but it's cool in general. So in development, we have clans, collector boosters, uh, collector borders, sorry, booster vats, whatever. I'm actually really interested in the booster vats. Uh, more more event types, in-game graveyard, that's of course going to be amazing. Clans. We've heard your request for a more social experience in Snap, and we're excited to announce we've actively prototyping the first version of Clans. This new feature will enable you to join or create clans, working together, complete missions, and earn collective points. The more points your clan accumulates, the greater the rewards for all members. The Clans feature will be rolled out in phases, allowing us to gar- uh, gather feedback and refine the system along the way. Stay tuned for more updates as we get closer to releasing the first version of Clans. Yeah, sounds good. I don't have much to say on it because we don't have much to go off of. It's clans. Most other games have something akin to it. Clans, guilds, whatever, which they did call it before guilds. So changing it to clans, I guess, is fine. Um, booster Vats. Do you dream of picking a character to get boosters after a match? Booster Vats are a new feature geared towards targeted booster acquisition for characters of your choosing. Booster Vats will come in sizes from small to Hulk size, which award more and more boosters as the Booster Vats get larger. Pick the Booster Vat size you want to use, pick the character you want to target, complete an objective to crack open the Booster Vat, and collect your boosters. So it sounds like it's not just a booster magnet. The booster magnet they had before in previous roadmaps that they have since scrapped uh, when they basically made the slight change to the booster thing for like it kind of has a higher chance of hitting cards that have less boosters or less of rarity whichever it is they got rid of booster magnets but those were just something you would in the deck selection screen presumably you would probably just slap a booster magnet on a character on a card and that would be the one that gets boosters kind of like an agatha like you know like that kind of thing this doesn't seem to be that. This seems to be a, another challenge, so to speak, 
and um, you essentially choose your goal of the challenge, being small, bigger, or whatever, and then you will complete objectives, and then you'll get boosters. So uh, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. That's all I can discern from it at the moment. Um, it feels like just extra challenges that are booster targeted. I, I kind of wish it was just magnets because I don't really want to have to work more for targeted boosters. I just I, I just want them to be universal at this point, to be honest. I don't really like the fact that boosters are with, uh, you know, for specific characters. Um, it's it's frustrating when I have well over a thousand boosters for uh, Namor. I don't play the card. I have no reason to upgrade them. And I'm just dying for Iron Lad boosters, right? Even though I play almost every deck with Iron Lad, the boosters end up going somewhere else anyway. So, uh, we'll see. We'll see. All right, in concept, we have big dreams about what we'd like to bring to future Marvel Snap. Uh, new game modes, new board, ga- new board games, new game boards, clan competitions, ultimate variant evolution, and new card mechanics. Um... The only thing they're going to be touching on here is the clan competitions and game modes. That makes sense. Uh, all the other stuff is kind of a bit more duh, right? They've also gone over Ultimate Variant Evolution before. Um, hopefully they do it retroactively for variants if you've already bought some Ultimate Variants. For those of you who are, like, hesitant on getting Ultimates, uh, I'm also the same way. They're very expensive. 5K tokens in this <laughs> in this economy for Marvel Snap is pretty insane. Uh, I only own two at the moment, uh, the Iceman and the Kim Jacinto. Uh, I'm blanking on the name. Uh, Electro, duh. Anyway, clan competitions, they are going to be, we don't, they don't know yet. <laughs> As we described in clans, 1.0 section, we're going to release clans feature in phases. We're going to tell them, wait, yeah, that's fine. So in theory, I, I get it. They're going to have competitions between clans. Or something along those lines. Cool. We'll see what happens. I mean, it'd be kind of cool with like certain like... This could be that first stepping stone into esports and actual tournaments. As weird as it sounds. If players and communities go take it into their own hands to run tournaments essentially through these clans. Uh, Like for example, I'm part of uh, Pursuit Gaming. Pursuit Gaming is absolutely going to be making a clan uh, and would be interested in doing stuff like that. And look at Tribe, for example, like Dexter and all of them. So yeah, I I think this could be that first tipping point of like letting second enter know via the players and these clans and these potential clan competitions that, hey, we are yearning for more competitive uh, snap. Uh, new game mode. We have a lot of different ideas for our next new game mode. Um, they're going through what they're going to choose to prototype, test, and evaluation, uh, figure out what's the most fun. Probably going to be things like, well, let's see, there's draft, of course, limited environments in general. There's draft, there's sealed. I don't know how you do a sealed event in Snap, but I'd be interested in it. Um, cube would be one. Uh, yeah, there, there's a lot that they can do. Um, they could also do things like different formats, similar to like what Magic does. So like they could have like Popper, which I don't rather Popper in Magic is tied to rarity, so they can only use common cards in those decks. Of equivalent of Snap would be the pool system or the series system, so like series one card only. Um, but then that at that point you're just basically playing series one. Uh, though I guess maybe people would potentially like that. Maybe some people enjoyed the beginning of their Marvel Snap journey more so. But anyway, yeah, that's it. That's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know what you guys think down below of this roadmap. Or what are you most excited for? We got, of course, the character mastery uh, is really cool. Getting new stuff. Uh, the, the big one's going to be probably the highlights for everyone is going to be the selectable card effects and selectable borders. Um, new Infinity Splits for some people, I believe. And then, of course, that in-game graveyard in development is pretty massive. But ultimately, what are you guys excited for? What do you want to see? What's missing from the roadmap that you haven't seen here that they maybe mentioned before and you're a little bummed that it's not showing up anymore? Uh, let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.